here's how to change the country or region on your iPhone. Now, if you're on your iPhone and you move to somewhere else, maybe from the United States over to India or France or China, wherever you might be, you can always change the associated App Store and phones country or region. I'll show you how to do it, but first hit the subscribe button down below. Really helps me out. Thanks guys. Now you need to change it in two different places. The first place is you can head into your settings here and you'll be able to see if I scroll down a little bit, the option for general, let's tap on general. And then from here, if I scroll down, you'll be able to see here language and region. So first change it on your phone. So tap language and region here. And for region, we will choose that. And we're just going to choose what other country you want to change it to. So let's say I wanted to change it from the United States over to the United Kingdom. And it says it'll change the uh, keyboard if I wanted to change the keyboard and all that stuff, but basically go through the process of changing this region in the settings. Now, after you've done that, the second place we'll do that is in the App Store. So let's head into the App Store here. And at the very top right, you'll see the profile icon. Let's tap on that profile icon and you'll be able to see you're logged into your Apple account here. At the very top, it's sort of hidden, but you're just gonna tap on your name at the very top. This will open up a secret menu that says account settings here. This is for your app store and midway down, it says country or region. So tap on country or region. And again, this will allow you to change it. However, in my instance, it does say that I have a subscription to Apple One and that I need to cancel that subscription first before I can change the uh, country or region. So if you get that message, you just need to tap on the profile again and hit subscriptions. And whatever subscription you have currently active, you first need to cancel that out. And then after you've changed the country or region, then you can initiate it again. Now, this is the option basically for the App Store, but you can also, if that's not necessarily working, you can do it on the web-based version. So on here, we can go to account.apple.com. So again, account.apple.com. And from here, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you sign into your account. So hit sign in here. It'll use your face ID, or you'll just need to enter in your Apple ID account password. But after you've done that, you can see I'm logged in. At the very top right here, I'll tap on that little drop down arrow. And from here, you can see personal information at the very top. Let's tap on that. And you can see I can scroll down and here is country or region. I can choose country or region. And again, it's giving me an error because I haven't canceled that Apple One subscription. But once you do cancel all of your currently active subscriptions, right here on the web-based version. You can always change that country or region. I have it set to the United States. You can change it to whatever other country you're in. Keep in mind, when you do so, you need to enter in a new Apple ID credit card or debit card so that you can buy apps. So if you wanted to download and install apps or do in-app purchases, you need to have a new credit card or debit card that has a billing address in that new country. So essentially you can't have a United States credit card linked to an app store that is basically has a country or region in the United Kingdom or France or something like that. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks guys.